Well, there's a legal difference between the two. The barangay elections are mandated by the Constitution. Mm-hmm. The SK elections are only provided by law. So with respect to the power of Congress to amend uh, the law, uh, mukhang less less ang uh, challenge sa uh, SK. However, I am concerned that um, we are the, the youth especially are, are not uh, getting their voices heard because of the postponement, the continued postponements of the SK elections. Sana po ay bigyan ng pagkakataon ang kabataan natin na uh, tumakbo at maging bahagi ng ating demokrasya. The Constitution gives the pow- Congress the power to fix the terms of barangay officials but not to postpone. Mm-mm. And that, that power is provided only in the Omnibus Election Code. But uh, the Omnibus Election Code says that you can only postpone elections for acts of violence, terrorism, and similar causes and only in in particular places where that is happening so i i, I agree with um, attorney makalintal's position that uh, this is beyond the power of congress to do this is the fourth time in six years that Uh-oh. the ele- barangay elections have been postponed the last time there was an election for the barangay officials was in 2018 Uh-oh. but since 2016 uh, apat na na and, and that uh, constitutes really a disenfranchisement of the voters. We we have a right to choose our officials from the barangay level up to the national Mm-mm. positions. And especially in the barangay, we are directly affected by whoever is um, in power in the bar- different barangays we have. Uh-oh. And I, I do think that um, that is the cornerstone of our democracy, to choose our leaders. I think it does contribute to patronage politics because the officials will feel that they owe their positions not to the voters, but rather to those who decided to continue giving it to them. Especially mm-hmm. if the um, if the push came from higher officials in the executive department and then was followed by those in Congress, then sa kanila pupunta yung utang na loob at hindi ang bayan. You know, it could be viewed that way. We, it's it's difficult to find out what's in the mind of those who decided to do this, but uh, it's it's very easily interpreted in that manner. The the whole purpose of having an SK is to give a voice to our youth, and if they are already over age, what's the point in in making them continue to sit? Mm-hmm. I think that uh, they the youth deserve to have a a hand, a participatory hand in our elections and in choosing our, our their leaders. Every barangay is supposed to have an SK that is supposed to represent the interests of the youth. Oh, oh. But when you have overaged uh, members who are there, uh, it's a big question whether they can still or should still be sitting. Definitely, it does not contribute to our democracy. And, mm. and our democracy has been under attack in so many different ways. This is just one of them. And it's really concerning because it, the whole heart of a democracy is the ability of an ordinary citizen to choose his or her leaders. Mm-mm. And when Uh-oh. we lose that, that, that uh, affects uh, accountability. That could even affect the issues of corruption. Oh, I think Attorney Makalintal uh, has it very well in hand. And I understand Mm-mm. the court has already scheduled the oral arguments. So All right. I leave it in his very capable hands.